the built-in memory of the Polar H10, you can record your heart rate data and transfer it to the Polar Beat app after you finish. Start by moistening the electrode area of the strap. Fasten the strap around your chest and adjust the strap to fit snugly. Open the Polar Beat app and sign in with your Polar account or register as a new user. You can also use the application without signing in. If you sign in, your training details will sync to the Polar Flow web service, where you can view them in more detail at any time. Be sure that you paired the H10 with the Polar Beat app on your phone. Go to Training View on the app menu and wait until you see your heart rate reading inside a blue circle. Choose HR with sensor from the menu in the upper right corner of the training view. Choose a sport profile and tap start. You can see the start time of the training session on the Beat app's display. You can leave your phone waiting and just get going. The built-in memory of the Polar H10 heart rate sensor can record and store one training session. The sensor stops recording your heart rate when you remove the connector from its strap after you've finished with your training. When you come back to your phone, attach the connector back to the strap and wear the sensor around your chest again. Your heartbeat will reactivate the sensor connection to the Beat app. You can see only the start time of your training session on the Beat app's display. Wait a while for the Beat app to connect to your sensor again. The app will prompt you to download your finished training session from the sensor memory. After the download, you can view the training summary in the app. Note that the H10 can only store one training session at a time, so you'll need to upload your last session before starting a new one. Whatever you do, with the Polar H10, your heart rate monitoring is more accurate than ever. With the HRM Dual Heart Rate Monitor, you can transmit accurate heart rate data to your Garmin device, to compatible gym equipment, and even third-party training apps such as Zwift. In this video, we'll show you how to wear and pair your heart rate monitor. Before you can pair the device, you'll have to put it on. First, snap the heart rate monitor module onto the strap. The Garmin logos on the module and on the strap should be right side up. To get a snug fit, you may need to adjust the length of the strap. Slide the two clips further apart to make the strap smaller, or closer together to make the strap larger. It may take a few adjustments to get it just right. Remember, you want the heart rate monitor snug enough that it won't slide down during activity. Wet the electrodes and the contact patches on the back of the strap. This helps create a strong connection between your chest and the transmitter. Then just wrap the strap around your chest and connect the strap hook to the loop. You should wear the heart rate monitor directly on your skin, just below your sternum. It should be snug enough to stay in place during activity. The hook and loop should be on your right side. Once you put on the heart rate monitor, it will be active in sending data. If you want to pair HRM Dual with your Garmin device, the pairing process may differ slightly depending on what device you have. See your owner's manual for details. In most cases, this will simply require you to bring the Garmin device within 3 meters of the heart rate monitor and follow the directions to pair manually via Ant Plus technology. After you pair the devices for the first time, they will automatically recognize each other the next time you wear the heart rate monitor. Exercise machines, like the ones at your gym, often have Ant Plus technology which means you can pair your heart rate monitor with them while you work out. Keep an eye out for this logo on fitness equipment. Keep an eye out for this logo too, which indicates that you can also pair using Bluetooth low energy technology. You can also pair the heart rate monitor with other devices that use Bluetooth low energy technology, such as some smartphones, tablets, or smartwatches. The pairing method will vary slightly depending on the receiver, but a general rule is that you'll always have to 
put on the heart rate monitor to make sure it's transmitting. Bring the heart rate monitor within 3 meters of the receiver and access Bluetooth settings on the receiving device. Then select HRM Dual. After this process is complete, your chosen device and the heart rate monitor will automatically recognize each other whenever you wear the monitor. To keep sweat and salt buildup from affecting the accuracy of your heart rate monitor, we recommend rinsing the strap after every use. A machine wash is recommended after every seven uses. Make sure to remove the module and then put just the strap in the washing machine. Afterwards, let the strap hang dry. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.